table. Back for game number okay. four, the Hong Point Kong the duo. Level. The Cowboys from Kowloon. I don't know if they're from Kowloon, oh. but they are from Hong Kong. They're leading two to one. Wang Chun Ting with the serve. Watch the replay here, the punch on one foot, hooking side spin, inside out forehand after another, and finally it's Oshima who can't hit the shot. Lu Guodong on his feet, the standing ovation. Encore, encore, give us another. And it's the calm after the storm. Spectacular point and then a short one to follow. Little time to rest, catch their breath. Me too. Flip again, Oshima gets up over the table, extends himself, he's not especially tall, but he can make up for it with fast footwork and confident play while he's in the air, he makes that shot to the deep corner. Falling to the ground once again. In the highlights, we've already got one, I'm pretty sure with Masataka falling to his back and winning a point. Good recovery there from Ho Kwon Kid off the netball though. Keeps it in play, doesn't look like a great shot, but still it's awkward, it's tough. And the opponents were far back. First towel break of the game, and they're split once again at three points apiece. This is where it is a best of seven reminder, unusual for doubles, but this is where Ho Kwon Kit and Wang Chun Ting could really break ahead for a three to one lead that would not be easy to recover. We've seen Oshima and Morizono play some incredible oh. matches, but also lose some match points that they had. Hey. Four, three. Morizono stretching out that arm quickly. Getting a little bit tight there. I don't think I've ever seen a player hit his quads as hard and as often as Morizono on the court. Oh, safe shot from Wang Chun Ting, but Yuya Oshima recognizes it's a slow spinny one, stays in at the table right at the back edge and counters it to the corner for the winner. Look at that angle that has to be to the very deepest corner of the table or Ho Kwon Kit's gonna counter it back. Five, Five points apiece. I can't believe that Ho Kwon Kit can trip up like that, dance around and get himself composed to make this backhand. Watch his feet on this ball. Doubles, triple, up. Oh. Wow, that was like tap dancing to get in and still he's got the backhand flip. Bring out those shiny shoes. Oh, service error on the reverse pendulum and it's a two point lead for Ho Kwon Kit and Wang Chun Ting. The pressure is becoming very real right now. Seven, six. 
From the middle of the table, Oshima. Mori Zono keeping the opponents back, finding the middle of Ho Kwong Kit and Wang Chun Ting. Spinny opening, but no problem. Wang Chun Ting on top of the bounce gets the racket up high, drives it back aggressively. It's probably the loudest chole I've heard from Wang Chun Ting. Yuya Oshima practicing his stroke there, trying to stay on top of the bounce. Again, two very experienced coaches in the corner. Three-point lead now. If the Japanese pair wants to take the title, right about now would be a great time to come back. Oh, the edge of the table, Ho Kwon Kid, a little break there. Four game points for a three to one lead. Oh, this one doesn't climb over the backhand fadeaway. Ho Kwon Kid is falling back, but still manages to get Decent power, not enough to get back over the net though. At least not with that trajectory. One game point saved. Three more to go. Solid flip. So two game points saved and two more to go. Sort of curious, we could see a timeout. Doesn't look like we're going to here. It is a towel break after all. Oh, it does. Wow. If anyone wants to know what the lottery ticket numbers are for today, just message me. I'll send those over right away. Your future, if you really want to know, it could be dark. But I think that's up to you. 47 seconds left there. They're going to talk it out in the corner. Hong Kong, Ho Kwan Kit, Wang Chun Ting want to take advantage of these next two points. Okay, now, as I often say, my Japanese is far from fluent, but if I had to guess on body language and just a few words that stood out, it seemed like there was a lot of talk about positioning getting them to come in, move across the middle. Again, they are a right-handed, left-handed pair. So if you can force one of them wide to the forehand, that means they're gonna be in the other one's space and forced to take backhands. And as strong as they are on the backhand the side, both Ho Kwon Kit and Wang Chun Ting, I would say at Eight, least twice as confident with their forehand to win a point. Two game points left for the Hong Kong pair. Patient spin, Morizono exhaling some stress there, and he gets away relieved. That is three game points saved in a row, and the first point out of the timeout for the Hong Kong pair. Morizono getting the shorts and shirt ready, all tucked in. Oh, the big counter, Morizono on top of it, predicts perfectly. He stays right in position, a quality serve, and this is why it's so important to know what your teammate is serving. Morizono has to lunge out to the backhand corner to get on top of that ball. Four in a row for the Japanese pair. It's gonna be tough for the Hong Kong pair to come back if they lose this one. Make that five, Wang Chun Ting's backhand. Smart placement there, the Japanese flag flying in the front row. So after four game points to the Hong Kong duo, it's the Japanese pair out here that have game point. I'm sure they'll be warned to play soon. It looks like they're about to start, and they will. All is good. 
what a comeback. Six in a row for Oshima and Morizono. These are the types of finals we love to see. It's tied up in two games apiece, and we'll be back for game number five right after this.